going to explain a little bit about what the Dig In With Tech course is today, so you'll have an idea of what you're getting into if it's something you're interested in. So the reason that I want to do this course is because I know if I were in the classroom going into this fall, I would be really concerned about what that's going to look like. Am I going to have to be able to pivot the way I did in the spring and go to all digital instruction? Am I going to have to deal with classes coming in on certain days and then having virtual instruction on other days? What do I need to know about this really uncertain future and what tools can I be learning now that will help me whether whatever our instruction is like in the fall. So the course is designed to answer these five questions over the course of five days. What does our virtual classroom look like? And this is going to be about creating the basic framework that we're going to use in our class, which you could then choose to use parts or all of in your classroom. How do we lecture virtually? That's going to be looking at screencasting and podcasting options. How can we organize information and share it with students is going to be graphic and web design. How do we get information from our students is going to be in a wide, a wide but shallow overview of a bunch of tools for online quizzes, online polls, um, and online presentations that we can use with students or that students can use to showcase what they know. And the final day, what do we need and how do we communicate, is about taking everything you've learned over the course of the week, winnowing it down to what is essential for your classroom and your students, and thinking about how you're going to instruct them on the use of the various technology. The format the course is going to take, there will be daily video lectures which are posted on YouTube. Those will be there in advance if you want to start perusing. Um, you'll have time to use that new tool and implement it, and so you'll get some hands-on experience. And then in the afternoon or evening, we'll have a synchronous video chat where I will be there to answer questions and guide discussion. Um, a lot of the discussions that we're going to have look at accessibility issues and how we can bake in some accessibility features by being intentional when we start planning that will make it so much easier for all of our students to access our content. Here are some of the tools we're going to be using, not all of them, but these are some main ones. Um, if you're familiar with open source software, you'll notice that some of these applications are entirely free. Um, for this course, I'm leaning heavily on things that are either completely free or have a free option that's robust enough to be worth our time. And so you'll be learning some open source software that is free to download that you can then um, use with your students in a computer lab or remotely if they can download it to computers as well. So that's that that's exciting to me. I like that part a lot. This isn't everything. This is just kind of the big stuff. Okay, so what is your commitment? If you're interested in this, um, it is entirely up to you how much you want to do. You could just watch some of the videos on your own and be perfectly happy and go on your way. Um, you could stop by to a day or two of the video chat if it's a topic that interests you or if it's something where you need some troubleshooting support. Or if you would like to commit to the week-long summer course as well as four dates in the fall, you can earn CE credits through Fairmont State. Um, our tentative schedule, this may change and I'll post in the comments um, if it does. The first session uh, will be June 22nd to 26th, that's Monday through Friday, and we'll meet every day from 3 to 4. The second session will be July 20th to 24th and meet 6 to 7. Um, you can attend, those two sessions will be exactly the same. So week one, week two, they're the same format. Um, so you can, if you want to start in week one and do Monday and Tuesday and then jump down to week two and do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to make your full week, that's completely fine. It's going to make more sense if you go through it in order, um, but we can get around that if not. I haven't decided the dates in the fall because I don't want to choose those until I know who's interested so we can make sure it works with everyone's schedules. There will be five sessions. Um, they'll be in the evening, each an hour long. We'll have a focus question and you'll have to prepare something small for it, nothing too big. Um, and you have to attend four out of those five for credit. If you want more information, um, I'm going to go over the syllabus next, so stick around if you really think you're interested in the CE course and don't want to read through the syllabus on your own. Um, if you are not interested in the course but want more information, that's my email there, and you can look at the syllabus yourself by um, typing in that link. I'll also have it in the um, box underneath the comments. 
Um, but let's go ahead and look at the syllabus if that's something that you're interested in. Whoops. Okay. So I kind of went over the overview. Those are our course outcomes there. It's all about um, just making some time this summer to make some decisions about what you would want it to look like in the fall. All of these technologies are things that can enhance face-to-face uh, -face instruction as well. So it's not going to be like it's wasted time even if we are in person all fall. Um, but that's something that you can decide for yourself how valuable it is. For the course materials, you don't need to purchase anything. Um, you will have to sign up for some free accounts on things. If you do choose to pursue the class in the fall, in the fall we'll have Blackboard um, accounts through Fairmont State, but you won't be using those in the summer. Um, you'll have to download some of the programs depending on what you choose to use. Um, and you'll need access to, um, to the, our Microsoft Teams account preferably through your at k12.wv.us. I'm assuming that most teachers who are wanting to um, attend the full course and get the CE credit are going to be um, West Virginia educators with that email address, but we can definitely work around it if you are not. So don't feel like you're excluded from the class if you don't have one of those email addresses. We can make it work. And this is a course that's open to all educators, uh, whatever flavor that is. That's our basic course outline. And then each day on the class schedule, you'll have some topics. There will be things to check off to do. Some of those are videos to watch. Some of those are um, action items on your part. And then you'll attend the video chat that has some focus questions there. Another part of it is the reflection. And so I'm gonna kinda speed ahead to that part. This is your reflection guide here. You can tailor this to meet your needs, but these are some questions I would want to be asking myself about um, tools and something to help solidify in my memory what I was doing with a particular tool. Because if I use it one time in the summer and then it's September, I'm not going to remember unless I wrote something down. So in the fall, the expectation is that you share something you've created uh, with digital tools that you're proud of um, and then post a video or article to our discussion board and attend the um, session. Each of the sessions has some questions with it. As far as grading goes, um, each of the day's products over the summer is worth 10 points. You'll see day four has kind of two different parts to it, but they add up to 10. Um, attending all five sessions will get you another 10 points. Doing your reflections gets another 10 points. And then attendance in the fall chat, fall uh, sessions are another 10. So you're earning 60% of your grade over the summer and then 40% in the fall, if that makes sense. Um, we're trying to front load it because I know we all have more time now than we will in the fall semester. Um, and so that's the basic uh, overview of the syllabus. Um, each day I'll have kind of a header video that introduces the day and goes over again what those expectations are, but they are all spelled out day by day um, within the syllabus. So definitely check that out if you think you might be interested in that CE credit. Please don't hesitate to email. I'm going to pop that up again. Um, and thank you for taking the time to think about this. I hope to see you this summer. <laughs>